I always wanted to make one of these um, galvanic batteries by taking two electrodes which is magnesium copper and distilled water which this is uh, and freezing it and it's frozen you can see that water makes a nice crystal formation also unique is that the bottom has beveled it's rounded now so it won't it won't stay straight up um, but I always wanted to make one of these so the water is completely frozen and crystallized so technically you could technically say that this is just a form of crystal battery that's fair to say I always wanted to see the voltage on one so we're going to hook it up to the meter to show you guys what the voltage is and it's really barely nothing it's millivolts and it's going down it's kind of a unique idea actually let's check uh, AC voltages not really anything in the AC voltages And there's DC. So, as a crystalline structure, let's get the leads off of this. As a crystalline structure, water doesn't produce really a galvanic reaction. I find that very unique. Look at that, it's crystallized. It's hard to think that uh, water is a crystal, but it really is. And when you freeze it, it becomes into its crystalline form. And when it's in its crystalline form, it doesn't produce a galvanic reaction. So this makes me think if I took a... Somehow if I had made uh, uh, any crystal that was in a water form, and I was able to harden that crystal into this form, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this would be the same result. Barely even a galvanic reaction. I just, I, I just find that interesting. So when, when, when it started out as just water, I was getting 1.780 volts. And I'm pretty sure when it melts, I'll be able to get more voltages. But I just find that interesting. This is frozen solid. And I'm getting barely anything, any voltages. And it's crystalline form.